welcome to another video walk on the wild side and i am here in blackpool i am at devonshire square yeah you might be able to see the number three pub behind me that's a bar kelly's pub that's actually a sports bar yeah uh, i'm not really a big fan of it actually i used to like it when it was a pub the number three so this is devonshire square whitegate drive this way loads and loads of shops i've done quite a few videos on on Whitegate Drive. I'm actually just outside what used to be the toilets. Uh, there's like a substation here. Uh, but this used to be a toilet block here. And what I thought I'd do in this video is I thought I'd take you um, a bit of an area, around a bit of an area that I've not been to before. I'm gonna head that way along Devonshire Road. Bit of a history tour. And uh, we'll check out some the site of the old hospital, Devonshire Road Hospital. There's also, um, that's where the law, the, the, that's where the magistrate's courts are going to be going, supposedly, when, when they get it done. And we'll also take a look at the site of the brewery as well, the Catterall and Swarbrick Brewery, which was on Talbot Road. So I'm going to make my way to Talbot Road and eventually into the town centre. So let's go, shall we? Yeah, so I'm just on this little bit of a, a turn here. Look at that building there, isn't it quite swanky? This this building here, look, that goes, it's like a, what would you call it? Like a crescent or something? I'm not too sure. But it's got Whitegate Drive up there, you see, but it blends into Church Street as you come around the corner. But uh, I'm gonna head this way. We've got a little bit of a garden area here as well. Look, check it out. Looks like it's been taken over by Bindweed though. Look at that there. Bindweed has absolutely swamped everything in this bed here. Let's check out over the road there. Oh, the number three chippy. We've got a chippy there. Look, check it out. And that's the pub there, the number three. Has anyone been in the number three? Tell me what you think. And we'll just have a look at the other side of this building here. It's now a substation. Was it always a substation? Uh, did it have a substation connected to the toilets? I'm not too sure. I've got some more bushes here. Look at that, look. They've actually got plants in Blackpool. Can you believe it? Anyway, I'm just going to head across the road. We're going to be heading up that way there. Straight ahead there. We've got there. Uh, is this a, a, a letting agent? I think it is. Yeah, it's a letting agent. So how much is it to, to let a property around here? We're not too far from Leighton. Alexander Road, Living Centre. Oh, that's Living St. Anne's. Well, there's one down there, which isn't too far away. £650 a month for that house there. It's a three-bedroom house. In fact, we're probably going to go past that house on the way up here. £650 a month. It's actually pretty cheap, really, isn't it? Anyway, let's carry on, shall we? So straight that way to Leighton, Stanley Park. Yeah, so this is uh, Devonshire Road, the very beginning of Devonshire Road, at the southern end. So, this road goes all the way to, it pretty much goes all the way to Cleveland. So I'm just going to cross over this side. It's not the best part of Devonshire Road, this by the way. It's, uh, it gets a whole lot better the further the north you go. Yeah, you actually get trees and grass verges as you go further up this road. It's actually quite swanky, yeah. But this part of the road is not, not, not that swanky, actually. It's a nice house there, though. That bungalow there is quite posh, isn't it? You reckon? So we're kind of heading towards the Leighton area of town. Leighton's actually, I quite like Leighton. It's got some quite nice houses. It's old, some pretty old houses in Leighton. I've done some videos there if you want to check them out. 
I might put a link to the last video I did in later at the end of this one if you want to check it out but just about to go past in fact I'll go across the road again look at that tower models they used to be on Cookson Street yes Cookson Street tower models and they're now here look check it out So they had to move from Cookson Street, probably because the uh, the building had been bought up by the council. This road here is called Granville Road, and it's one of these like what they call a home zone. I don't know if you can see that sign down there. It says home zone. That's to get a good view of the tower down there. Look at that there. Look. Can you see that? But they've got all the parking arranged in like sort of diagonal. They've even got trees as well, look at that. Check it out. So if you head that way there, there's like a bit of an estate up there. It takes you to, yeah, it takes you to Leighton, the Leighton part of town. Anywhere that way is towards Leighton, but uh, we'll carry on down here. I'll show you where the flats used to be as well. The high rise flats. Yeah, look at that alleyway there, look. So all the, all the alleyways in Blackpool have gates on them and that, the gate on that one's open at the moment so the gates are supposed to stop uh, people dumping rubbish but I don't know, you still get quite a bit of rubbish dumped. Uh, quite a nice uh, terrace of houses across it, they look quite neat those houses actually. As we head along Devonshire Road to the north I'm going to be taking a left down Talbot Road just coming up to a church on the corner here with Corn Street what's this road called here we've got a very fancy uh, kind of it's not a gate really is it what is it it's just like a sort of uh, I'll tell you what that one have been cheap to build up would it it says Peter Street so this is Peter Street you can just about see the tower down there carry on so we're just coming up to this junction now with Corn Street now that's a road which I've been down before and it's a little bit dodge yeah especially towards the left not so much towards the right more towards the left but here's this church on the corner what's this church called so there you go there's a sign there Devonshire Road so we're making our way along Devonshire Road and this church is called St Thomas's now this is Corn Street look at that now look at that view of the tower come on it might be a little bit iffy down here but you certainly get a good view of the tower along Corn Street but I'm heading this way we've got Devonshire School on the corner here it's a primary school Devonshire School there you go They must have knocked the old school down, wasn't they? And just built this fancy Lego kind. It's like a Lego building, isn't it? Look at that there. That's Devonshire School, as it is today. I'll tell you what, there's a bit of rubbish around here getting blown around all over the place. KFC. Yeah, they've got a KFC up here. We'll see it in a minute. Oh, by the way, the flats, the big high-rise flats, they would have dominated the skyline around here. You could see them just around the back of Little over there. So that's Little. So the flats would have been just over the, over here, behind the school. As we go past Farm Foods, and this shop is closed until the 22nd of June. Wow. They've actually closed this farm foods. 
wonder what they've closed it for. A new improved farm food. I don't even go in farm foods, me. I don't go in farm foods. But they've actually closed down this one. Yeah. Didn't know that. Yeah, so just across the road we've got Lidl. That's been there a while. But I think... I don't think it was until after the flats had come down. The flats came down in 2016. So we're just about to go past a Costa Coffee. Grass could be recutting. So if you look that way there now, if you look over there, you see a massive block of flats over there with a solar panel on. And that road there is called Laycock Gate. And that took you right into Queenstown, where the high-rise flats were. And they were right there, and you can see they've got some... If you look over there, you can see some, like, two-storey buildings. All the flats were replaced by those houses there. I did a video around there. It was a couple of years ago now. But yeah, this is where the Leighton flats were, right over there. And the tallest, there were five of them all together. And the tallest one was called Walter Robinson Court. Well, I don't know who Walter Robinson was, but must have been someone of note, mustn't he? What road's this? Oh, that's George Street. That leads towards, you can see that massive big DWP building at the at the top end there, look in the tower, look at that there. Wow. As I go past KFC. So we're just going past KFC now. The Well Church. Yeah, so there you go, Lace, Laycock Gate. Straight down there. And you'd have had that imposing look of those flats. Straight ahead. 2016 was when they came down and I actually filmed them coming down as well so we're now up to Boovely Road and on the corner we've got discount wallpaper and fab interiors they're actually pretty good this it's a pretty good store this by the way fab interiors yeah I believe they've got one down in Lytham as well yeah what have they got over the road here they've got good fellas pizzas Mei Wa, Chinese takeaway. So we're getting close now to the junction with Talbot Road and we're now up to another historic spot here. If you see this wall here on the left, look at that wall there. Isn't it fancy? A nice big wall. This is where the old Devonshire Hospital, Devonshire Road Hospital used to be, right in here. And for the last few years, it was being used by the ambulances until they built the new hub and since then it's been empty again and if you look at it now let's have a little look at it it's just a massive wasteland look at this this is supposed to be where the magistrates courts are going i'll tell you what though it's a massive space i wonder if they're going to put anything else in there yeah so this is the site of the old devonshire road hospital I can't remember when it closed down actually, I don't know. I don't know when it closed down. Uh, what have we got over the road? The Trinity Hospice. And an SO garage there. Another gateway there. But yeah, when they built walls in the olden days, they, uh, they put a bit of effort into them, didn't they? That's made out of Accrington brick wrap, by the way. Accrington brick wrap, yeah. What have we got up here? A sign. I saw the sign. Bispam. Yes, yeah, straight ahead. If you carry on down this road, straight that way, you will get to Cleveland's and beyond. So I will. I will probably go up there as well. Fairly soon. But we're now coming up to the junction with Talbot Road I'm going to turn left here I might get another look at this empty site from the other end look at these uh, kind of like colours on the on the corner here look look at that 
yeah so we're now at Talbot Road now of course this goes all the way to Talbot Square and the North Bay I'll just give you a look around because this junction here is pretty busy that way takes you to Leighton Leighton Village so here's a good look around and I'm now going to head down to Albert Road now a little bit of a shelter here look you know I'm actually quite surprised that there's no beer cans in here you know yeah anyway on this side look at this here look look at that railing there look whoa that is amazing can you imagine them building railings like that now no they wouldn't bother would they it cost too much so across the road we've got a, a housing estate over there now that's where the abattoir used to be yeah just over there cooper's way that's where the the abattoir used to be Well, I think we can take a little look in this part of the... Check it out, look at that. We'll look at it from the other side. It is a massive site, you know. Look at that. It's a bit of a wasteland now, though, isn't it? It's been empty for a very long time. Yeah, just check out this railing here that was round the old Devonshire Road Hospital. Absolutely amazing. I wonder how much that would fetch if they melted it all down. We're looking straight down Cooper's Way over there. Cooper's Way, that led into the abattoir. And as I pan this way, oh, hello, got a cop car over there. That cop car is coming out of Spencer Court. So that over there is Spencer Court, that block of flats there. A lot of retired people live in there. But just check out this rail in here. I can't get over it. It's immense. Just look at that. They don't do railings like that anymore, do they? Well, they probably could do, but they wouldn't spend money on it, would they? So, I'll just head over the road. There you go, Spencer Court. It's actually quite a quite a big area, Spencer Court. It's massive. I think they have sheltered accommodation, you know. There, in there. Spencer Court. So a little look at Spencer Court. I'm going to head back over the road again. We've got some new houses over here. This is Coleridge Road. I have to look at the signs because I'm not familiar. I'm not really familiar with this area, but we're now right round the back of what was the Devonshire Road Hospital. So we're getting a look around the back. The railings continue all the way around the back there. Look at that. Wow. Now there must have been something. There must have been something here because we've got these new houses. Look, these are pretty new, these. They've only been here for the past, I don't know, they don't look very old. Past 10 years or something like that. Head back out this way, shall we? There's another big block of flats here. You see that, that big block of flats there? I remember when they were building them and they set on fire. Yeah, that big massive block of flats there. One, two, three, Talbot Road. I remember when it set on fire. So I'm making my way down Talbot Road, but there's another, this is a little street here. It's called Henborn Street. It's a cul-de-sac, look. Got some uh, terraced houses down there, look. It says there, 20 mile, 20 mile an hour zone. Like as if you could get up to 20 mile. <laughs> Can you even get up to 20 mile an hour down there? <laughs> Lots of flats around here. That big block over there, they'll all be flats. It's 
sauber. Heading towards, heading towards another little split there, look. Terraced houses. I'm not that familiar with this area. I'll tell you one thing, I can notice some wild garden over there. Looks a bit wild. Maybe they're just letting nature take its course. But you see that building there, that's Savoy Tip. Really good actually, Savoy. Very, very popular. Savoy Timber. Yeah, it's massive. Savoy Timber, yeah, that's a that, that's a really good place up by the way. Really, really good place. We've got a shell garage here. And Another little street here, this street is called Hardman Street. A bit of tagging going on. Another street here with the terraced houses there. Come back out onto Talbot Road again. Check this out, we've got uh, D. Hollowell and Sons Funeral Directors. Uh, oh, that's interesting. They've got an old tractor in here. Look at that. I wonder why they've got an old tractor in here. It's a Massey Ferguson. And check out these cars here, look. I wonder if they use them for funerals. What do you reckon? I wonder why they've got a tractor, though. I don't know. That's well, a nice looking tractor, though, isn't it? Got a tyre place here. Victory Road. Now Victory Road, that leads all the way to, back to Corn Street. Yeah. Victory Road. Got a bit of tagging going on again. Got a tyre place here, MOT. Now just over the road here now is the Mecca Bingo. Now that building over there, in fact I'll just head over there now. This building was purpose-built as a normid hypermarket. So this was built as a normid hypermarket. Now we can see the tower again, look at that. Let's have a little look around, shall we? That's Gorton Street there. Car dealer on the corner. So all the way over there is Savoy Timber. It's massive. It's absolutely huge. But I, I tell you what, this grass looks a bit rough here, doesn't it? Bloody hell. Hey, look at this. I think we've got some beer monsters around here. Bottle of Smirnoff there. Look at that. Is it? Well, not Smirnoff, it's something else. But... A little bit scruffy, the gardens. It's pretty popular though, the Mecca. Yeah, there seems to be a lot of people coming out. It's, it's after nine o'clock in the evening. It's around about, what time is it? Yeah, just after nine o'clock. And there seems to be quite a few people coming out. Well, that's where the entrance was there to the, to the hypermarket, right there. Oh, look at all these people, wow. It's busy, isn't it? And we're not far. In fact, we're just the other side of the train tracks. Check it out. The train tracks are just over here, look. You see the choo-choo's over here, look. I'm just walking through the car park. Oh, there's a train going out, look. I wonder where that's going, Northern. So just up here, we've got another petrol station. This is a Stainsbridge petrol. It's a bit of a funny um, situation, this. I'm not sure if that petrol station was meant to be there originally. I think they kind of stuck it there 
something to do with plat I can't remember what it was but we're just down the road from that shell garage aren't we and we've got a Sainsbridge petrol station here and I don't know it's just a bit of a weird situation because it's not anywhere well it's just down the road from the store you can see the store up there obviously part of the Talbot gateway check it out here we've got a train here look look at this look right I just want to show you something up here it's quite interesting does anyone remember the Apollo 2000 store which was just up here Apollo 2000 I remember it because a, a friend of mine worked there for years Apollo 2000 it was just up here I'll turn the camera around and show you because the site is now empty okay we're now looking at what was the Apollo 2000 store and a car park now the car park I believe I might be wrong but the car park I believe was owned by Howard Plant and it was like a, an overspill car park for North Station so we're looking now where the Apollo 2000 store used to be I think it took up part of this petrol station as well and also it was like an overspill for North Station now they are going to build an office block in here for DWP so as we look that way obviously we can see the Sainsbury's there Talbot Gateway over there we've got the Rams and Arms so yeah who remembers Apollo 2000 right here by the railway tracks and here we've got the uh, the Sainsbury's garage yeah yeah so I'm just coming back now on to uh, Talbot Road there's another pub down there called the New Road Inn and there was another pub round here called the Wheat Sheaf if anyone can remember it the Wheat Sheaf but it was demolished for the Talbot Gateway yeah he remembers the Wheat Sheaf I've just been spotted by fans from Swindon yeah Swindon can you believe it they bumped into me here and I'm, I don't even come down here very often unleaded 145 diesel 149 I don't bother with the point nine I don't know I, I don't know why they bother with that you know so yeah so we're just looking at this uh, this site now where they're gonna build the um, a new another office block for civil servants can you believe it it's gonna go there the old Apollo 2000 uh, site now the Wheat Sheaf pub must have been up here somewhere was it can anyone let me know I'm not too sure I can't remember but there's the Ramsden Arms I like that pub it's a nice looking pub that isn't it the Ramsden Arms and of course just up here is the Talbot Gateway all new it was all sort of constructed around about 2013 2014 with the big Sainsbury's the new council offices and they actually built it over a couple of streets I think Swainson Street and Seed Street I think Seed Street still exists that way I think Seed Street I think that's the car park there for Seed Street but Swainson Street I believe they, they just built over the top of it with this uh, Sainsbury's there's a little look back that way and here's the Sainsbury's of course we're now into Talbot Gateway where are you from? there's that guy talking to then? is he talking to someone in his earpiece? I don't know but uh, anyway we've made it to North Station check it out we've also got the Holiday Inn of course So there you go, I've made it here to uh, Bickerstaff Square. Yeah, it's called Bickerstaff Square, this after the Naira Blackpool. And the guy that was uh, uh, hugely responsible for getting Blackpool Tower built. The Talbot Gateway, yeah, it's all quite fancy. Lots of glass around here, isn't there? And of course, we've got the new Holiday Inn as well. Uh, so there you go, that was a bit of a... a di I walked in a different area along Devonshire Road there, and I came down here. I've not been down here. For quite a while Talbot Road and uh, I talked a little bit about the history along the way so let me know if you know any of those places like the Devonshire Road Hospital the Queenstown's Flats 
the Apollo 2000, the Catterall and Swarbrick pub, uh, not pub, uh, brewery, <laughs> the Catterall and Swarbrick brewery. Did you know that place? I don't think I did. Anyway, let me know in the comments, but uh, anyway, I'm gonna leave it there now, folks. I'm just gonna nip down here to North Station and have a bit of a nosy around here. If you like the video, hit the like button and also hit subscribe and tick the bell for notifications of new videos. And I'll see you again on the next one. North Station tram stop. Just wait until this opens. I bet the beer monsters will be fighting over the space down here, won't they? Just you wait. It's gonna happen.